Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. You know, springtime's here and that means lawn care. And one of the best tools to help you maintain your lawn is a string trimmer. Now, if you're in the market for a new one, stay tuned because when we come back, I'm gonna be doing a complete review of Echo's PAS 2620. Guys, before we get started, I just wanna say that I am not affiliated with Echo in any way. I had an old string trimmer of a different brand for 10 years and it always ran really good. And then for about the past two years, I started having issues with it and eventually it became more of a problem than what it was worth. So I laid that string trimmer to rest. Now I went to Echo because I had experience with them before and I knew they had a good reputation. And with the pro attachment system, I was hoping to get a little more versatility. The Echo brand has a long history of quality products that dates back to the 1970s. Echo is made by the Yamabiko Corporation of Japan along with another name that's synonymous with professional outdoor power equipment, Shindaiwa. The PAS2620 stands for Pro Attachment System and is a power head that you can connect multiple attachments to. The attachment I purchased is Echo's straight shaft string trimmer with a speed feed 400 head. Now at the time I made this video, the 2620 power head retailed for around 340 bucks, while the speed feed trimmer attachment will set you back $90. Unboxing the PAS unit is pretty straightforward. There's a couple of cardboard dividers that hold it in place, and once removed, you lift the power head out of the box and remove the plastic that covers the motor. Now right off the bat, I see a lot of good features on this model, so I'm going to start at the motor and work my way down. Now as I said earlier, the PAS2620 is a power head that drives other attachments in the Echo line. The heart of the unit is a 25.4 cc professional grade two-stroke engine that features a two-stage air filtration system and a 20.6 fluid ounce fuel tank. The power head alone weighs in at 9.9 .9 pounds. The first feature I'm going to check out is the air filter, and what makes it stand out is its toolless access. The two knobs easily unscrew, allowing you to remove the cover, and with the cover off, you can access the air filter, which looks more like something you'd find in an automobile than a string trimmer. No cheap plastic screen here. This filter is the real deal. Working our way down, the throttle is next, and it features an overmold rubber grip, a start and stop switch, and a safety trigger. For this, the only way to engage the throttle is if the lever on top is pressed in. Now a couple other features include a harness hookup in case you want to run something like a brush cutter, an adjustable D-handle with rubber overmold, and last but not least, a coupler that connects with Echo's other attachments. Unboxing the straight shaft string trimmer attachment is simple as well, and once it's out of the box, you can remove the end cap and see the inner shaft that mates with the coupler of the power head. Working our way down, we get to the bottom of the trimmer, and there's a plastic guard with a built-in line cutter. But the star of this attachment is the Speed Feed 400 trimmer head, and for good reason. Guys, I've used these before, as well as other heads, and in my opinion, they're the best on the market. They hold a lot of line, they're fast to load, and easy to operate. To load the head, you simply align the arrows with the eyelets and feed the line through. Then I'll pull the string so both sides are even and wind the head to retract the line inside. Now to release more line while you're trimming, you just tap the head on the ground. Connecting the trimmer attachment to the power head is equally as easy. After loosening the clamp, you pull out and turn the locator pin, then fit the attachment shaft into the coupler. Then give the locator pin a turn and rotate the shaft, and the pin will lock in place. Then tighten the clamp to secure everything down. And with that, this unit is complete and ready to use. Now before I fire it up, there's one aspect about this machine that makes it stand way out from the crowd. And that's the fact that the PAS2620 absolutely oozes quality. You know, Echo prides itself on being professional grade. And the build quality of this machine alone goes a long way in proving this claim true. It's features like the toolless air filter box with large, easy grip knobs that allow for quick removal. The air filter itself that looks more like it came from your grandpa's hot rod than a piece of lawn equipment. The handles with rubber overmold that make them comfortable and easy to grip. The flat guard under the gas tank that allows this unit to stand up on its own. The attractive color scheme. 
It's the combination of all these features that make the 2620 look more like it was custom built by a skilled craftsman than assembled in a factory. Now if this is any indication of how this trimmer will run, I can't wait to start it up. Now the last thing on my list is to fill this gas tank with a 50 to 1 2 cycle blend from True Fuel. So out of the box, the Echo started right up. No issues there. Now overall, the unit has a good feel. It's balanced, has good throttle response, and the clutch stops the trimmer head quickly after you let off the throttle. To give the Echo a fair test, I'm going to trim some different areas around my house, just like I typically would. Now this is the first time this year I'm going to be doing this, so some of the grass is pretty long. This involves trimming flat areas, around trees and other obstacles, under low-lying objects, and even edging around flower beds. Guys, after using the 2620 all around my house, I personally think this trimmer runs as good as it looks. The SpeedFeed 400 head worked flawlessly, and the 25.4cc motor had no issues teaming both the back and front yard. In fact, 95% of the time I used it, I never even had the unit at full throttle. To me, there's just no need to run it wide open for typical household lawn maintenance. Now, in my opinion, the 2620 has enough power to easily be either a residential or a commercial trimmer. And with the other attachments available, it very well may become a universal tool to help you maintain your entire property. Are there other units out there with this quality and power? Yes. But if you're in the market for a heavy-duty, commercial-grade trimmer, I highly recommend giving this one a look. So thanks for tuning in today for another tool review. And if you like what you saw, check out some of the other content on my channel, and even consider liking and subscribing. Also, take a second, head over to the comments section, and let me know what other tools you might like to see reviewed. I'd be curious to see your thoughts. Guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.